What's up nerds? Welcome to a different location because I didn't feel like filming in my other location today. Trust me, it's been a weird day and a half. So I don't know if I've said this before, but I love Lost Song. Oh, what? I've said that before several times in many different videos. Well, in any case, Lost Song is one of my favorite anime. And today I will tell you not only why it's one of my favorites, but I will kind of defend it a little bit. And this will also keep me from talking about this series ever again in another video. This year. Now, before we get going, I do want to say that this is a request from my best friend. And he has tormented me with the fact that Lost Song may not have been the masterpiece I originally thought it was. After having to take two weeks just to write this script, I have concluded that he's right, but so am I. And we'll get to that later, but for now, let's go over the plot. In a country in what we assume is the past, we follow two women, a young girl named Rin and a young woman named Finnis. What do they have in common? They can both use the power of specific songs to summon elemental powers. Finnis is employed by the capital and falls in love with a knight named Henry Leobald, who the jealous prince wants to keep her from. She is eventually convinced to be a weapon of war. Meanwhile in our story, Rin is being pursued by the capital to also become a weapon, and she and her adopted brother Al are forced into running with the help of other musicians. On their journey, they plan to not only help people, but somehow rescue Finnis, who Rin immediately feels a connection to. And that's the plot without spoilers, because as I said many times, this series deserves a watch. Now before I continue, as a person who watches a ton of anime YouTubers, I was frustrated that I really wasn't seeing anybody talking about this series. It seems I just wasn't looking hard enough because it was being talked about, just not positively. In video after video, I was seeing people talk about how the story was confusing, poorly written, generic. I'm going to go over each of these points in detail, but I do want to say that after a ton of research, <laughs> Remember last week when I said my opinion didn't need any research? Some of these points are extremely valid, but I don't think they're severe enough to just write off this anime. Let's go over the confusing point. This part's going to be a little bit hard to explain without spoilers, but I'll do the best I can. Several reviewers have said that the plot of Lost Song is confusing to the point where it became unwatchable. I totally agree that it is a bit confusing. But I'll also say that I think it's supposed to be a bit confusing. I'm generally the first person to say that you shouldn't have to watch something twice in order to understand it or to like it. But I do have a few exceptions to this rule. One, of course, is Lost Song, but another is ReZero. For both of these series, I really loved them the first time around, but the second time really enhanced my watching experience. Both of these shows can be a bit confusing until you truly understand what's going on on the first time around, but when you do go back and watch it again, having the knowledge that you didn't have the first time just enhances how you view not only the setting, but why the characters make the choices they do. But that's just my opinion. And by the way, I am not in any way saying that Lost Song is on the same level of ReZero. That'd be ridiculous. Now, for the arguments that Lost Song is poorly written, this is the one I will fight for because I don't think it is. As I said before, the series is confusing in places and desperately needs a second season and others, but that doesn't make it poorly written. Confusing does not equal poorly written. You know another series that's confusing? Steinsgate. Is that one poorly written? <laughs> no, of course not. It's amazing. And of course, I'm not saying that Lost Song is anywhere near the level of Steins Gate. That, that's just silly. But I'm going to move on from the topic of it being poorly written because not only does it really upset me that people say that, I also don't really have a leg to stand on when making my argument. You see, I've done a fair amount of writing in my day. According to my editor, I have interesting ideas, but I'm not very good at putting them down on paper. My stuff requires a lot of editing. So judging if something is poorly written or not is not really my specialty, but I really don't think that Lost Song is poorly written. But I do think if you're dropping this series just because you think it's poorly written and you're not acknowledging the ideas around it, I think it's a total waste. You know another series that people say is poorly written in the middle? Death Note. And you guys watch that. By the way, I'm not in any way saying that Death Note and Lost Song are in the same league. That's 
that no no absolutely not <laughs> so lastly we'll talk about it being generic and i would definitely agree yes it is generic but you know what's another anime that's generic demon slayer I was on a Skype call with my friends a few days ago and we were laughing our butts off when our friends who hadn't seen the series at all were naming every single archetype correctly just from seeing pictures. I'm sorry, but it is 2020. There is nothing new anymore. A series being generic, in my opinion, is no reason to write it off. Once again, this is something that I have been guilty of. It took me a long time to try watching My Hero Academia because it seemed like your generic Shonen Jump series, which technically it is, plus an extremely unique and varied cast of characters with a huge amount of charm. Guys, anime's been around for years and it's had genres for years, and not every anime fan will love every genre, or every anime in a genre. Lost Song is your standard fantasy adventure with character archetypes that you've seen over and over again in this genre. But you also have a unique twist that I won't spoil, and you have the fantastic way they use their music. They also use their plot and setting in an interesting way to make you think about not only their world, but ours as well. Is it perfect? Of course not. I don't love Lost Song because it's perfect. I love Lost Song because on a day that I was sick in bed, it got me to feel for its story, its characters, and its world. It's also been said to me by exactly one person, I bet you can guess who, that I probably like Lost Song so much because of its amazing music. And to that I have to say, yeah, of course. I'm technically a professional musician, just kind of out of work right now. The music is what got me to watch the series in the first place. This is probably the only time that stupid auto trailer thing on Netflix actually got me to see a show. I think the music is phenomenal. However, I would never recommend a series just because the music is good. For example, because we clearly haven't had enough of those in this video, School Days is an awful anime. It's based on an awful visual novel, has awful characters, awful animation, an awful plot, and a horrific, if not a little bit cathartic, ending. However, the music for this series is like some of my favorite. I would never say to watch School Days just because the ending theme is great. I'd say, hey, check out this ending from this terrible anime. Or I'd say, hey, check out this insert song from this terrible episode of a terrible anime. Lost Song is not terrible <laughs> at all. It's a bit confusing, it's a bit generic, and the animation could be better in places, but it's definitely not school days. So to wrap this up, I'll say this. I don't love Lost Song because it's the perfect anime. I've seen hundreds of anime at this point, and I've only found a few truly perfect ones. I love anime that make me feel, and Lost Song made me feel. Plus it has an awesome soundtrack, pretty good voice acting in both languages, and I probably just really saw it at the perfect time. This is also something to remember. You can love something that other people call terrible. Not everyone will have the same opinion. The purpose of this video was just kind of to bring to light the what I call excuses that people use to write off series like this. I really think that Lost Song is worth your time. It's worth everyone's time. See Lost Song. It's on Netflix and it's only 12 episodes. You can get that done in like a day or a week if you only want to watch like two episodes at a time. So that'll end it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and consider dropping a like if you did. Please subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell so you're notified when I upload more defensive videos. Please have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, so I just quit my job, so I'm kind of a little bit manic, a little bit, a little bit depressed, and a little bit crazy. Ugh. <sighs>